What's going on Ridge Runner Nation? We are back for week two of another gear review. I'm super excited to dive into this one. The first one uh, had a lot of good insightful tips and you guys really enjoyed that. So let's try another one here and see how it goes. I found a couple more items that I absolutely love to take with me out of the trails. So let's dive right in. Alrighty Ridge Hunter Nation, this gear review is totally centered around summer gear and everything that involves. And to start things off, you need to get yourself a really good pair of sunglasses. I love these ones for a couple of reasons. First off, they're really stylish. They're all black, all the way around as you can see here. Uh, there's a little name on the side, which is totally my kind of thing. I like seeing someone else's name on there that's not mine. But the best part about these is that if it gets shady, you don't even have to take them off. I mean, the best part of, I mean, like, just look at these lenses. You can just go right through them here. Really invisible lenses are the new way to go. And they're also replaceable. You just click a couple things down here, boom, new lens. You're good to go here. Make sure to get yourself a high quality pair of sunglasses, interchangeable lenses. Uh, these ones are absolutely epic. I have been gonna be using these for the next couple weeks here. But yeah, get yourself a really nice pair of sunglasses like the ones I have here for the summer months. Alrighty, moving right along into gear number two. And honestly, everyone complains about the summer heat and I'm honestly just a little sick and tired of it, but I decided I might as well share my secret on how I am so successful out in the summer heat. And honestly, I just bring this guy along. Check this out. It's just a big fan, just probably about four feet by uh, two feet here and you just have to really plug in the power just have something in your pack to supply that in uh, fresh air, fresh air in fresh air out uh, FIFO I think that's called but yeah just really nice piece of gear here uh, it's super lightweight I'm talking like 10 pounds or so uh, fits right in a pack or so if you have like a super big one or uh, you can just carry it on a run but uh, yeah, if you hold it over your shoulder like this, it also makes it look like you're like a DJ booth or something and you're just like jamming out to some tunes. So uh, definitely get yourself a fan to take with you on your runs. Uh, really cools not only you down, but other people around you. Uh, super solid uh, piece of gear here. I think this is something that you're gonna see a lot more at Ultras coming up soon here uh, once people really catch on to this trend. So you heard it here first, Ridge Hunter Nation. Fans are coming to ultra running and I'm super excited. I think it's gonna be great for the sport uh, to have more fans out there. People are always asking, how do you get more fans in ultra running to show up to these events? Now you do it. I mean, these fans are gonna be absolutely electric out there or battery powered. We'll see which ones pop up first, but yeah, big fan of fans out on the trails. All righty, tip number three. We're moving right along here and it is a selfie stick. This is uh, just a high quality one here. When you're taking selfies out on the trails, I see always people do it the wrong way. People don't under realize that the way to take a proper selfie is you gotta get the full extension. I'm talking full arm out, uh, and really you wanna make sure you have a 90 degree angle here between your moving down your arm here to really make sure you get that angle, 45 degrees, tilt the camera, and then obviously give a quick smile to the camera and put it on a timer. Don't, don't mess around, don't try to click and try to get your arm back in time. You're not superhuman, you, you can't move that fast. So put that thing on like a three to 10 second timer. I like the 10 second timer because it really just uh, brings the mood up, trying to get you in your spirit a little bit more. Uh, really during those 10 seconds, you have plenty of time to really just talk about, uh, okay, am I gonna smile? What face am I gonna make? It really just brings out the best emotion when you're out on the trails. So get yourself a selfie stick. Remember, proper formation. I wanna make sure you see proper form out there. You don't want injuries. I mean, if you get injured while you're running, that's literally the worst thing that can happen uh, to prevent injuries out here. We're always trying to uh, encourage great form, and that includes with your selfie taking game. So make sure you're taking really high quality selfies with the proper form and you're doing it uh, safely. You gotta slowly ramp this up. You can't just go from zero selfies to 100 selfies in a week or you're gonna just burn out. So you really gotta to slow build. Start taking like, okay, maybe 25 in a week and then you do like 27, only the 10% rule. Basically that would your mileage be to apply to your selfies so you don't get burnt out and you stay fresh on the trails. Alrighty, Ridge Generation, those are my three items for this week that everyone should take with them out on their runs. Remember, get fans, fans to ultra running, get yourself a pair of sunglasses, and obviously up your selfie game uh, super slowly and with good form so you're not getting injured out there. We'll see you guys next time. Remember, subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, follow us on all social media and all that stuff. You guys know the drill, you guys are awesome. So we'll see you guys soon.